What's up YouTube? Welcome to another episode of Blaster Masters Nerf. Uh, today I have an unboxing and review for you guys. Uh, as you guys can see on the title description, I have the Nerf Revel uh, Wild Glam from Toys R Us, exclusive to Toys R Us, Super Stripes. Uh, first of all, let me apologize. I have a cold right now, so I'm going to be going like this throughout the whole video. Yeah. Great stuff. Anyways, uh, this blaster, this is just a repaint of uh, another of Re the Revell line blasters where this blaster came with like little cross bolt kind of thing on the front. Uh, they took that off from this blaster and they just gave you a holster instead kind of thing. But really it's the same blaster, just repainted without the little cross bolt thing going across. Uh, this one does come with like a little bandolier thing. Uh, it does uh, claim 75 foot range distance, 22 meters. Comes with seven special darts, uh, zebra stripe color. Uh, here in the box, it says a uh, holster and bandolier for the blaster and dart storage. Uh, it's got a picture of the girl playing with the blaster uh, seems to be the same girl playing with the same blaster back here different girl with the blaster and whatnot here it kind of shows you you guys can see the holster clips onto the bandolier so you can you kind of wear it around your body and the uh, holster just ends up on your side you hold your darts and whatnot. Um, let's see if there's a better picture of that. Well, this picture right here kind of shows that. And also, this picture up here shows the girl how she's wearing that uh, bandolier with the holster. So, yeah, uh, let's go ahead and uh, open the box the these boxes they're kind of weird they just put tape everywhere and yeah so let's see if I can figure this out there we go so Opened it partially. Let's see, we got more tape somewhere. Yep, right here. There we go. In here, you guys will get uh, your instruction manual. Uh, once you open it, this blaster includes. Uh, what appears to be your uh, safety glasses for Nerf. Uh, they're made to fit probably a uh, female size head. So I'm not even gonna try them on. They're purple and greenish and they do not fold. So these are always gonna be like that. But get them out of the little bag and here they are. This is what they look like. Um, we have the blaster right here with the darts and the bandolier. So, man, there's a lot going on back here. Maybe I'll just cut them. See if I don't plan on using the box for anything else. Okay. So, one more for the blaster. Sorry guys. All right, just a second. All right, here's the blaster. It's a nice little pistol. Comes with your ugly stickers on the other side. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove those if I can, slowly so they don't rip. Well, 
I started ripping already. I'm not very good at this. And you guys probably don't want to waste your time watching a YouTube video of somebody taking some stickers of a Nerf Blaster, but yeah. Well, I did what I could for one of them. I'll just leave the other one for now so you guys don't get bored uh, with me taking stickers of the blaster. But yeah, so this is, this kind of reminds me of, you know, what we have for the boys version. This would be like a, like a side strike, uh, fire strike, uh, scout you know just single dart blaster this one primes like the fire strike back here you know eh, not bad you guys can see it does have their restrictor but this travels at a fair speed uh, I like the paint job it's pretty nice you know I like the whole white blaster thing they got going on right now and I said I wasn't gonna take the other sticker off and that's exactly what I'm doing I got sidetracked just kind of bothers me I guess so I'm just gonna take it off doing a better job taking this one off than I did the first one so where was I oh yeah uh, here's the holster for the blaster mm. Let me see how this is supposed to go in here. I think it goes like this. Yeah, it goes like that. And it does not feel like... Oh, there we go. It, it will hold it pretty secure once you slide it in all the way. Uh, what holds this blaster is the tactical rail section. Uh, goes inside those grooves in there and that's what holds the blaster in place so that's pretty pretty neat I guess you know kinda nice it does have the ring right here which will clip into your uh, bandolier so let's see if I can re remove the bandolier here real quick from the from the box Um, Alright, so I'm just starting to rip things off right now. I got all the darts out. <laughs> And there's one more thing I have to cut, and it's out. Here's a bandolier. Uh, kind of cheap material, I guess, for the bandolier. Uh, the little clip parts, they're not metal. They're plastic. There's another... I mean, some of the big bandoliers, they came with uh, metal ones. Like... Uh, the first gen bandoliers, orange ones and strike ones, those have metal. Um, the elite ones, some have metal. There's one that does not have metal. This one does not. It holds 10 uh, darts in here, which I don't ever like to put darts in there because I think it destroys them. It's too tight for the dart, in my opinion. I'll put these ones in here just to check. My theory well these ones are kind of nice I guess that it's not as tight but yeah you can actually bend them and destroy them if you bump them into stuff so yeah that's that now this is supposed to uh, I guess attach to one side and this one attaches to the other side like this and this is how you would uh, carry your little holster because this this does not go on your belt it does not have a belt loop as you can see so you kind of put it around your body in such manner like that I'm gonna get up here for a second so you guys can see 
what this kind of looks like. So you have your uh, blaster for your set. You can just uh, pull it out. Now it does take two hands to pull out the blaster because if you don't hold your holster down while you're pulling it, then this is what's happening right here. You need to hold it and pull. There we go. Uh, the other thing you can do is not take it out of the holster and just use it like this. You can still prime it. You can still fire it. So, yeah. Um, 75 feet ranges. I'm going to load one of the darts in. And let's see how this fires. Uh, covering the camera. But I'm going to shoot towards the direction of that uh, target. You guys can see right here. And that seemed kind of weak. Um, let's see if I can uh, load another dart. And prime the last here with one hand. And here it goes. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, as you guys can see, it was not very impressive. Uh, it's kind of weak, I, I guess. Maybe I'll beef it up with uh, another spring and uh, try to make it somewhat better. But yeah, uh, that concludes my review for the Nerf Wild Glam from uh, the Revell line. So, yeah. Uh, if you guys like what you see, comment, like, subscribe. Thanks for watching.